Prime Minister Netanyahu says this had nothing to do with humanitarian aid. This had nothing to do with helping the people of Gaza. These were activists, violent extremists looking for a fight. Do you agree with him? Well, what I uh, do believe is that uh, Turkey planned this uh, long ago and financed the operation through a uh, charitable group that has ties uh, with uh, terrorism. IHH, you're talking yes. about? Yes. And uh, that their purpose was to break the blockade. Now, the blockade is recognized as legitimate by the quartet. That's the United States, uh, the uh, European uh, countries, uh, Russia, and the UN. They don't say it now, but they have up until now uh, recognized it. And that is simply to make sure that whatever goes into Gaza, and there's much that has gone into Gaza, is examined so that war material doesn't go in. Both Egypt, Israel and the United States ask Turkey to instruct uh, the uh, captain of the uh, major ship uh, to land in Egypt or Israel and have the goods examined, and then they would have been transshipped. So this was a setup. Jeremy, uh, I have a feeling you have a different opinion on this matter. Um, what about the argument, though, from Netanyahu? They have a right to defend themselves against anybody coming into Gaza right across their border, smuggling whatever may be on the ship. The, the issue here, which is lost in all of this discussion, is that what Israel is doing to 1.5 million people in Gaza is an act of collective punishment. Uh, they are punishing 65 percent of that population are children under the age of 18. And it's not contrary to what Mayor Koch is saying, just military supplies that are banned from coming in. I brought, Willie, a list of the banned goods. Among the items that the Israelis are banning from going into Gaza are sage, cardamom, coriander, ginger, toys, horse, horses, donkeys, goats, and cattle. Uh, what these people were trying to do was to break what many around the world have condemned as an illegal strangulation of these people. And contrary to what you say about them having ties to terrorist groups, I know people who were part of that flotilla, including Ambassador Ann Wright, who helped to reopen the U.S. Embassy in Kabul after 9-11. This was not a ship full of terrorists. There were well-respected international diplomats trying to confront a strangulation policy. Well, let me, I don't want to argue with uh, uh, you, well, you uh, can't argue with uh, that. Uh, just, but let me make this point. No country is going to permit a uh, area that says it will not recognize the state of Israel, its very existence. It will not end the war. There's a war going on. This week, they shelled southern Israel, not with many, but I think with two uh, shells. They had 7,000 uh, during the uh, war, and now the fear is that they will be reinforced. No country will allow uh, an area on its borders uh, to engage in war and not expect to have retaliation. Engage in war. Israel killed 1,400 people, Mayor Koch, in its onslaught in December of 2009 and has yeah. strangled the people of Gaza ever since. How is a, a horse or a goat or a children's I'm toy going to be used that, as look, a rocket? Look, that's nonsense. No, tell I, me why I'm it's going to tell you why it's why nonsense. Is it I'm going to tell you why it's nonsense. The uh, power of Hamas, that government, uh, says it uh, will not recognize any agreements entered into by the Palestinian Authority heretofore. It will not give up violence, uh, and uh, it will not recognize the existence of the state of Israel. And you have the quartet, which is the United States and right. Russia, the European countries, and the UN saying they will not deal uh, with uh, Hamas. You expect them them to uh, 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 permit uh, uh, war material to enter and to be used against Israel, they'd have to be nuts. Every member of the UN Security Council except the United States has called for a lifting of the blockade and the siege of Gaza. Have they Our called, United have, States have they called state for Hamas this. to recognize the existence of the state of Israel? Have they asked? You, you tell them, me something. Is hold it a on, violation of hold on. One at a time. Have they time. called on Hamas uh, to give up violence? The answer is no. There, that is not a just Justification oh, no, for I strangling think it children. Is. Oh, right. really? Oh, Guys, please. No, don't tell me thoughts. children. It, it is. It, it, uh, you read uh, the uh, UN uh, report. Guys, it's very simple. Hold the thought. Hold on one second. Yeah. We're going to take a quick break. We're going to sure. keep you both here, if that's all right, sure. and continue this conversation in just right. a minute. We'll be right back. Watching Jeremy Scahill focusing on the free flow of donkeys into Gaza is what we're looking at. Uh, Mayor Koch, uh, the State Department itself telling NBC and, and other um, 
outlets today that it's time for a new approach to Gaza. The blockade is not working. Do you disagree oh, with that? I believe uh, that Israel would welcome an opportunity to have all of this war material or non-war material, whatever uh, is being brought to Gaza's shores, go through Egypt. Egypt is in as much danger as is Israel. Why do you think Egypt closed the border to Gaza? Because it feels under attack uh, by the uh, Gazans who have adopted a policy of no peace. Now, Israel is for a two-state solution. So is the Fatah on the West Bank. Hamas says no. Every, you know, under their covenant, every Jew who uh, came to uh, historic mandated Palestine after 1917 must leave under the covenant of Hamas. Uh, you know that? Hey, look, Do you, you know look, that? No, I'm, I'm not. I'm not, I'm not. No, I'm not playing your game about oh. making Hamas the issue here because the uh. issue here <laughs> is a strangulation policy that's not just Israel's. Egypt is run by a dictatorship, Hosni uh. Mubarak, the second largest recipient of U.S. military aid. The fact is that only Israel in the world can act this way, can board a ship and kill civilians, including shooting an American citizen four times in the head, Mayor Koch, and not have the U.S. come out and strongly condemn it. The United States is backing Israel with all of its rogue activity. Yeah. Around the world, they have violated 66 minimum UN resolutions. Israel has, so let me and they can that, do it because they're backed by the U.S. Look, you have uh, uh, recently uh, in uh, Pakistan uh, the uh, government assisting in a pogrom uh, against Muslims who they say are radical, and they're killing them. In uh, uh, the Sunni and the Shiites have killed hundreds of thousands of uh, Muslims by other Muslims. Uh, you go through the world, you find enormous problems in the Congo. Maybe a million people have been killed. Do they discuss that at the UN? No. They hate Israel. They want to destroy it. You know why I think uh, that the Muslims hate Israel more than any other? It is because Israel beat them on the battlefield. They never expect Or it's because that. Israel has invaded, occupied their territory, oh, slaughtered their children, now you're, killed disproportionately, so you're saying, stones versus your heavily artillery, is, your position assassinating is that, people around the world. Your position is that Israel does not have the right to exist? Is, my position is that Israel has no right to occupy Palestinian lands uh, and to target civilian uh, populations it, as how about it's done repeatedly. Hamas believes that Tel Aviv belongs Israel to them. Is, the big secret is Israel has over 200 nuclear warheads. They could blow off the face of the earth, any of those places. But and they, they haven't. Back, and, well, they're blowing them off by ah, other means. Last word to you, Mr. Mayor. Mr. And Mr. Mayor. The answer is, campaigns. Israel wants a two-state solution, but it does not want to commit suicide. No country would do anything but what Israel is currently doing. And Mayor, they do it because they're backed by Mayor the United Ed States. Mayor Ed Koch, Jeremy Scahill, thanks for a great and lively debate. We appreciate <laughs> you both you. being here. Thank thanks you. So much.